This was just for, I'm talking to him so he could talk to you guys. So I was just doing a practice on our book. We just got a little. Don't look at me, Ezra. What? Uh, <laughs> I'm not on schedule. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was just trying to compile in my mind again, like, because the pitch is getting thicker. At first I taught you the basic pitch, yeah. but now we're teaching you all the objections and all the rebuttals to all your objections. So first thing you're gonna do is a smoke screen, which is an icebreaker, a name drop, a reason for an issue, two spots, cheat. You're not mentioning your name, you're not mentioning your company, you're just doing an icebreaker, then you're going straight to a name drop, then you're going straight to a reason for an issue, then you're saying, if I can help you with everybody, I've got two spots left, I'm doing it for super cheap. They're gonna give you a smoke screen every time. Oh, I'm good, we already did it, all that kind of stuff. And you're gonna say, okay, yeah, no pressure. I definitely can't do all the work out here. Um, I'm just trying to fill up these last two spots. Um, but just so you know what we are doing for everybody, you know, if you did ever want it, um, typically if you call into our office, it's gonna be $329 for our initial service. It's cheap after that, it's just 59 bucks a month. Because we're here, we're taking $100 off the initial service, and that's still for everything. Oh yeah, I'm not interested. They're gonna try to throw in like another smoke screen right here. And they're gonna say, oh yeah, yeah I'm, I'm good, I'll pass. Yeah, no, no worries. It's more just a courtesy notice. It's more just a heads up if you wanted to kind of call your bug guy, just so that we're all treating at the same time and not playing like ping pong with the bug. Because if I treat this month, and then everybody else treats next month, everyone else is gonna push the bugs back onto my property and then I gotta come back and do a free reservice. So I'd rather just have, give, take five minutes to say, hey, call your bug guy. So we all get on the same schedule. It's more effective that way, if that makes sense. Um, but what we do for our service, what everybody loves up here in the eaves. Um, um, can't do all the work. Uh, big, what everyone loves about us is what we do up here in the eaves. So I'll just kind of teach this to you, Mike. So when you do the eaves, you're always going to explain every service with a where, a what is the issue, how are you going to take care of that, and why do they care, the benefit. So, you know, where we get a lot of the issues is up here in the eaves. That's where we're going to get the wasp. What do we get? What we get up there is the wasps and the spider webs and mud daubers. Uh, how we're going to take care of that is get a big brush on the end of a long single pole. And we're going to clean that down. But why that's important for you, that's going to keep those spiders from getting in and making cobwebs up on your vaulted ceilings or keep wasps from like getting inside and everything like that. Um, other thing that's really important for houses out here is down here on the base. Uh, we have these wheat bowls, so we're going to treat three feet out, three feet out, and you a full foot foundation, full six foot foundation. Best part about our entire program though, the moral of the story is it's all covered and all warrantied. So if anything comes back, it's free. So that's the important part. Like, it doesn't really matter what we're doing. It just matters that we'll come back for free if it doesn't work, you know? Like, and so then you do that. Then you do a soft close. So you're gonna be here tomorrow though, right? Yeah. Like, they're like, yeah. Or they're gonna be like, they're gonna be like, yeah, and you jump to paperwork to do an email. Um, but if they're giving you objections, then you're gonna, this is part, this whole thing is the sales pitch. Mm -hmm. You guys think the pitch is like ease, base, yard, like this whole thing is actually the sales pitch that gets you to close a high volume. Like the responses to these objections. So they're gonna say, hey, I'll pass. And you say, okay, yeah, no worries. If you just wanna call your bug guy or somebody, run a Home Depot, just so that we're not ping ponging the, the bugs around, if that makes sense. But um, one thing that will be important, no matter uh, who you do it with or how you do it, is definitely going to be taking care of the yard. Tell you what, if you wanted me to just take care of the yard, I'll bring it the full thing, front yard and back. If you just wanted to pop that lock off the gate, then I'll go ahead and take care of that if that sounds cool, if that's cool with you. Um, then they're going to be like, uh, I don't know, can I just get a card? You're creating the need right here by ping-ponging. The card, you're, you're reinforcing that time frame. It's now or never type thing. I don't care if you sign up. It's not like I'm like, oh, please, you have to sign up or I'm not gonna feed my children. Right. I don't care if you sign up. Yeah. I just care that my spots get filled up. And you're the person standing in front of me, so 
Like, <laughs> exactly. Um, but if you don't want to do it, no worries. Like, but I just do want to make sure I can offer you all the stuff we can right now. Sure. Um, card, yeah, I can give you a card, but it's not a coupon. It's only because I'm here trying to fill up these last two slots <laughs> that I'm able to offer this type of pricing. Uh, one thing, what we, uh, where we haven't seen more issues is in the garage. What we get in the garage is spiders. So what I do, how I take care of the spiders is with spider traps. Uh, spider traps. And why that's important is gonna keep the spiders from running inside your house at night when you open the garage door to take the trash out. Um, and then they're like, well, I just really wanted to think about it. That's, they don't, I've been listening to you guys things like, you're not, you're never explaining the company as a whole to build value in like the company as a whole. And I don't feel, I, I don't know if you're bringing up reviews as much. So they're like, I wanted to think about it. And you're like, yeah, sure. Definitely good to be informed. And like I said, you don't have to go with me. There's a hundred companies out there. A couple good ones that you might go with, you know, there's these companies here. Um, but you know, a lot of people just like us because one, we're local to, you know, you have dedicated service experts and office experts on your area manager, making sure you're happy. Um, but why most people do like us is just because we handle the rodents and most people don't handle the rodents. We're going to check the rodents in your attic and make sure that nothing's nesting up there as well as treat like silverfish. Uh, where's the door for that? Is it in the inside or? Okay. Um, oh, you need to close here. Card. Um, if you just pop that open, it's the garage door. Actually, too. Um, and then you're trying to collect information. So, like, phone number. This door one is um, address. Spouse. That one goes a little bit longer. I don't know. It's typically just a price drop, though, is what they're asking. So you just want to ask, is it going to be service or price? What, what questions is she going to have? Is she going to be worried about service or the price? Okay, if I was able to give you a better price right now, would you make an exact decision and penalty get something scheduled? Uh, it depends on what your rate is. Yeah, for sure. Um, is it? Okay, nice. Yeah. <laughs> um, You're recording. I'm sorry. You're good. I'm just recording just so that I can remember what I'm saying. Um, Good morning. We were just speaking. Good morning. You guys going to go in that room over there? This is the last one. Nice. Okay. Sounds good. So, Skyler? <laughs> um, price. So, then you do like just a price drop. Um, typically, another $100 off that initial, taking you from the $329 down to the $129. Um, then they're going to say, like, not now. And you're going to be like, okay, yeah, no worries. Um, you know, one of the biggest things that I can do is, is the rodent. Um, like, no worries. Like I said, I'm just going with these two spots. I got I do kind of need to get going, though. So, um, you know, what, what can I do to earn your business? Do the rodent service. Do it for free. Um, and then... Yeah. So what I've seen with like with your with your pitches and listen to other people's pitches is just that they give you some type of initial smoke screen, and you guys go, oh, okay, I'll send. I can send you a quote. So there's no time limit to this offer, and I can do it for a dollar and eighty nine, and so I've got no more aces I can throw out. I'm just like. And then there's, they still want to play the game though. They still want to kind of earn the bonus and things. And it's just, trust me, I've talked to tens of thousands of people on the door and I've sold thousands of accounts and they just want to play this game. And if you just play the game with them and you're okay with telling them no and, and not making the sale because you told them no, then you're actually going to make the sale. Like when you're like, yeah, no, that's not going to work next week. Nope. Sorry. It sounds like you're not going to be one of my two. So Call somebody or do something. I don't really care. Because if you get on with this service now for $1 and I can get you routed, you can schedule your other services for whatever you want. 
Yeah. Um, so, yeah, do I have like a different color? Because I want to really pull out the, the different sections. So here's green. So where's, where's the money made? Where's the big difference? One is the icebreaker. You guys are shooting yourself in the foot with doing the basic icebreaker sale and being like, hi, my name is Dan Nest. I'm the area manager for Dan Can Pest Control. That's good for someone starting out because yeah. it's just very clear and it's a word. Hi, how are you? You guys are getting more better with the icebreakers. So that's the first seven seconds that gets you the first 30 seconds. Next thing you wanna do is name drop. Then you wanna give a reason for the issue. Then you wanna let them know that you're the area manager that's actually a good thing. You do want to say, I'm the area manager for Dan Can. If I can help you while I'm here, I've got two spots left that I'm trying to fill up. I've been pre-authorized doing for super cheap. Then they're going to give you a smoke screen. Oh, I already treated myself. I'm kind of good. Oh, we have somebody coming out. We've got like coming out. What's up? So you're going to you're not gonna say like, oh, okay, I want you to buy. I'm just doing like a preliminary thing. This isn't even like the actual meeting. This is just me vomiting. Well, you might as well. We've only got 15 minutes, so. Okay, so we're gonna start over again. Sit down. Um, because I, I wanna... Um, These guys are just having a little meeting for themselves? Yeah, there's meeting here as a group. They got some food going or whatever. Oh, cool. um, there's a chair there if you want one, Austin. Um, Real quick, before we get too into it, Austin, Mike, uh, I just talked to Israel, he's our rep for our pest control and he helps us get our licensing and things like that. He is going to be hosting a class, it's a little far out, it's next month, uh, I don't know how long you're going to be here or whatever, but he's going to be here the rest of his life. You going to say? <laughs> no, okay. we'll Austin's class on pest control in Ad Abilene. Yeah, so there's a class that you can learn and you'll get your apprentice license for pest control. And I think it would benefit you in the long run as well. Yeah. So. What's it, 60 hours? It's eight, eight hours. Eight hours? Yeah. I thought it was, I thought I looked up online and it said it was 40 hours. There you go. For yeah, hours. Like, like, do you want to own your own company? Okay. okay. Oh, I wanted to say congratulations to everybody. You have all graduated. You are no longer little babies and little novices that know nothing about anything, right? You guys know the basic pitch. Yeah. And you guys have all closed sales on the doors. Perfect. Look at you. You got like, you guys aren't babies anymore. So now we're gonna take it to the next level. The basic pitch that we taught you is not the whole pitch. That's not how you close high volumes of sales. That's how you close like one who's like, I want it. Angela's like, I want it. Yeah. And you're just like, cool. And you just know what to say, they sign them up. Like, was that a follow up from the other day? Yeah. His black, right. girl, yeah. black girl? Yeah. I, I was going to go back and close that one if you didn't go. <laughs> Good job, dude. Um, cool. So, as you guys have probably noticed, people don't just every time, even if they are seeing a bunch of bugs and they need it and they want it, they still don't say, sign me up. They say what? I'll think about it. Let me think about it. Let me get a card. I'll call you next month. They still want to push it off. Even if they're like, oh, we've been talking about getting this, like that one lady was doing. Yeah. Uh, we've been talking about doing this. We want to do this. We were talking about this today. We killed the tarantula last night. Who was that that said that too? Every 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 pitch you put on there, I listen to. Just so you know. So a perfect one. example is Austin. Awesome. Remember like the, the other day I took you out and we knocked on the first door. Or the first guy that bought, right? And he was like, well, it's cool. Call me back next month. We're leaving on a trip. I'll be back in like two weeks or whatever. And I, what did we do? We got him to sign up now. And we actually, he signed up him and his son next door. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> so first thing, I'm just going to kind of walk through this. I'm glad you guys have your notes out and you guys are recording your own proper yeah. videos and things like that. Because I really, at the end of this meeting, Sorry. like I'm going to go through this quick then you guys are gonna role play it, and then you guys will be to the next level. Then we can start working on body language and tone and all that kind of stuff. Um, the, the intro that I taught you, I don't know if you guys have ever taken science classes where they teach you one thing and then you go to the next level of the science class and they're like, forget everything you learned. It's actually like this, not like that. That's exactly what this is. Forget what you learned, the intro is not what I told you. Sorry, I was lying to you. The intro is 
you want to do an icebreaker. So that's awesome, like you've been doing. Hey, how's it going? Good, man, it's freezing out here. Like, I'm just looking for a blanket to stay warm or something. Like, something like that. Hey, I, no, I think you're doing great. So there's an icebreaker. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna say, you're gonna name drop. You're gonna name drop hard. And you're not gonna say, I'm just out here doing some houses. You're gonna name drop hard on, I'm taking care of Nancy Jones with the Mercedes down there on the corner with the four kids and her husband's a podiatrist. What, you know, like that. And name drop. taking care of Nancy on the corner. What? If we aren't taking care of Nancy on the then corner. Then you've knocked on doors and you said, hey, how's it going? Good, cool, okay, no worries, just call somebody. My name was Austin, what was your name? Nancy, okay, cool. You walk next door and you say, hey, how's it going? Good, man, this house is beautiful. Congratulations on it. I'm sure you know Nancy next door. Okay, cool, I was just talking to her. I'm gonna be out here taking care of all of my customers this next week and so. The issue's just been with this field and that construction. We're getting a lot of the black crickets right now, the huge wolf spiders, little field mice. So that's how you name drop effectively. Are you, and then like, am I taking care of Nancy? No, I'm not taking care of Nancy, but she did mention she was getting the wolf spiders and this and that. I'm actually not taking care of her, which is kind of why I stopped by, because she doesn't seem like she's really gonna do anything about it. So you'll probably wanna at least kind of do something on your property. So even if they're doing it or they're not doing it, it's a reason to do it, you know? Um, so hard name drop, you want a reason. I've heard you guys saying, and you wanna, we're knocking exclusively new builds in construction sites. What's the reason why they're getting bugs? It's a construction and it's a new build. Yep, because all this used to be a field. You know, we just moved on to their home. So it's just all this construction that they're doing. It's been pushing a lot of the bugs into these, these homes that have already been built, you know? Um, it's not because of the weather anymore. That was just, that's a reason, but it's like, you want a more solid specific reason. And this new build situation is awesome. So a reason for getting, and you want to put the reason first. It's just because of this construction that everyone's dealing with, we've been getting a lot of the crickets and the wolf spiders. And if you can point to it when you say it, and these wasps, just because we cut down all of the trees, so the wasps now have nowhere else to build except on our houses. So we're gonna get a lot more wasps on our houses. It's just because of these big trees that we have here, you get a lot more wasps when you have trees, and so they just also build on the houses. Whether you don't have trees or you do have trees, you have wasps. <laughs> um, then the big thing you're setting up is you're saying, cool, I'm the area manager for Dan Ken. I'm gonna be out here tomorrow. I've got two spots left. And if I can help you with everybody else, we're doing huge group pricing. I'm doing it for super cheap. So that's the intro. It's a little bit different order, but it's, it's more effective and it gets past all their like buyer's resistance. Then what are they gonna say? They're gonna say no. Say, I'm not interested, I'm good, I'm busy. Mostly it's I'm busy and I don't really wanna spend the time talking to you. That's all it is, is I'm kinda of busy and I wasn't really planning on having a conversation right now. I was watching The Simpsons or something, you know? Like, and so this, this icebreaker is actually called breaking preoccupation. They are preoccupied with something and you need to get them to forget what they're doing and then start thinking about this. Um, so, you're gonna say, doing it for super cheap. They're gonna say, oh, I'm good. And you're not gonna be like, oh shoot, they didn't say yes. You know, you know that they're not gonna say yes. And you don't care that they said no. You're gonna be like, okay, yeah, no worries, no pressure. I can't do all of the work out here anyways. Um, I can't do all the work out here anyways. Like I said, I've only got two spots that I'm trying to fill up. Um, but just so you know what we are doing and if you ever do need anything, Typically, if you were to call into my office for a home your size, it would be $329. Now notice what I did here is I didn't say, okay, no worries, I can send you a quote. There's no time frame on this. It's not tomorrow and it's not a limited spot. I can, I can send you a quote, here's a card. They're gonna say, can I get a card? And you're like, I could give you a card, but it's not really a call and coupon. It's like I said, it's only because I'm here. And I'm no worries if you don't wanna do it. I'm not trying to sign up everybody. We're just a local company, so we're not like Terminex trying to sign up everybody. We're just trying to get a, a few select people who want to go with the local company, you know. Uh, we're just trying to max it out at 12. I got two spots left. Um, so that's, that's the transition, right? We also talked about the ping pong transition a little bit too, or the courtesy notice one too, right? This is another transition past the smoke screen. And you want to have it quick. You want to have it quick. You don't want to have it like, 
oh, uh, no, no worries. Um, I'm not trying to take care of anybody anyways. You don't want to do that because then they're going to be like, okay, cool. You're going to shut. <laughs> I sat there and watched it happen. Um, you want to go to price. And the other thing that I've seen you guys do is they give you an objection. They give you a kind of a smoke screen and you're like, okay, no worries. I'll send you a quote and I'll do it for, for free. Let me just pull on my pants and give it to you for free. Oh, wow. But, <laughs> um, and so you're going to say, okay, yeah, no pressure, no worries. Uh, just so you know what we do for everybody in case you ever do need it. Typically, if you were to call into my office and you're going to step closer and use a price sheet on the thing, it would be... It would be 329 because I'm here. This is group pricing. I'm going to get this price sheet out to you guys today. Yeah. Do we have uh, what the, um, the other thing you guys are doing is you're shooting yourself in the foot by hundreds of dollars by doing, by doing quarterly pricing. We need to do uh, monthly pricing. So this is the way you explain pricing. You say typically that initial service would be $329. After that, it's cheap. That's just 59 bucks a month. You get complete coverage and warranty for anything. You can call us whenever you need it. Because I'm already going to be with everybody, we're taking $100 off the initial service. And it's still for everything. Moving on. You're ending on the $100 off, and then you're moving on. They're going to try to throw in a smoke screen, and if they do, you're like, okay, yeah, no worries. No, I mean, no worries, dude, no pressure. It's just a courtesy notice. It's just a heads up about what's going on. And if you maybe wanted to call your bug guy, just introducing myself, so no pressure, dude. Because if they feel pressure, they're gonna button up. But if you can get them to like release it, then they'll let you go a lot further through it and they're gonna hook onto some part of the value. And so, no worries, it's just a courtesy notice, just introducing myself. Just so you know what our service does compared to other companies is what everybody loves about my service and that's when you're gonna pull them out. That's when you're gonna pull them out of their preoccupation and get them out into the yard. You're going to show them the wasp nest. You're going to show them the light where all the bugs. You're going to show them the soft vent. Is what we get up here in the eaves. Where, what, how, why. I've seen you guys take all the services and bunch them together and just kind of like drop them out. And they're all out of order. And there's like no benefit. There's a lot of features. And you throw in all the extra stuff for free too, which leaves you with like nothing. You're like, I'll send you a quote. The price is bottomed out. And I'll give you everything right off the bat. No, uh, you're playing poker and you just put out all your cards. You're playing poker with your cards down. <laughs> like, um, so you want to go where, what, how, why, you know, where we get a lot of issues up here in the eaves of what we get up there are spider webs, uh, wasp nests, paper wasp nests. The worst one's probably mud dowers. You've seen those, that looks like the neighbor came through mud at your house. It's actually the wasp. So we want to get those guys. How I'm going to take care of that is with a big brush on the end of an extendable pole. I'm going to clean it down. Why that's important for you is going to keep those spider webs from becoming cobwebs on the inside of your vaulted ceiling. That way your cleaning lady's not going to have to knock them down for you. Like, we haven't even gotten into, like, jokes. You should be putting in jokes this whole time. Um, throwing in jokes. So then you're going to go base. Another really important part is going to be down here on the base. Uh, we're going to, you know, you see that wheat pole? That's where you get this, the ants and the roaches. I need to go three feet up and three feet out, give me a six foot barrier. Why? So you don't get structural damage or don't have a, a like a cockroach joining you and your date for a third, being a third wheel at your, your date or something like that. I don't know. A why? And you're not gonna explain any more than just that. You're just gonna wrap it up and say, cool. But the moral of the story is that you're completely covered and warranted for everything. If you ever see anything come back, we'll come back the next day We'll, we'll, typically, we'll come back completely free typically the next day. And then you're gonna do a soft close. I like to prime my close by saying, we'll come back the next day completely free for whatever it is. Uh, you are, you're gonna be here tomorrow, right? It's kind of like tomorrow, tomorrow. Yeah. You're gonna be here tomorrow, right? Um, the next day, tomorrow. <clears throat> yeah. And then they're gonna, and then this is just part of the pitch. Um, you, they're gonna say, oh no, I'm, I'm good, I'll pass. Um, can, I, can I call you next month, is that too long? Yeah, Yeah. no worries, it's no worries. Yeah, that, that doesn't really line up. Like, we're just looking for people who are gonna be flexible with our timeline while we're here, and we're gonna be really flexible with our pricing if they're flexible with us on our time, you know? 
But if you don't do it, by all means, like we're always gonna be a five-star company. I just don't have authorization to do this kind of pricing later on if it's, if it's operationally it doesn't make sense for the company. Um, so they're, they're like, um, you're like, so, so no worries. Just, I do recommend getting somebody out here or doing something about it just so that we don't play ping pong with the bugs. Um, you're creating the need. Big important part that you're gonna to wanna to take care of isn't just spring the base. That's what most companies do and most people do to kind of stop it here. Out here in text with this construction, you actually wanna start the service right here at the edge of your property. You wanna start a barrier here. And what we're gonna do is we're not gonna spray this, we're gonna granulate all the way to here. And then you're gonna explain the yard. Um, you know, tell you what, if you want, if you want to just let me do it, that's actually what we do every time. I'll do the front yard and the backyard. If you can just make sure that the lock is popped off the gate tomorrow, I'll make sure we get your entire property taken care of it. That's cool. They're not saying no. They're just like, cool. What's a good, um, what's a good phone number to remind you when we're coming out? They're like, oh, well, can I get a card and I'll call you about it? Yeah, I can give you a card. It's just not, it doesn't act like a coupon. Like I said, it's only because I'm here and I have these two spots left, I'm able to offer this pricing. You're creating your frame in which you're negotiating. If they try to negotiate outside of the frame you've created, it doesn't work. And be okay with being like, hey, it sounds like it's not gonna work. No worries. No, you're not gonna work with our company. You guys are so scared of them saying no that you're like, you need to say no to them. You need to be confident enough to, they're gonna say no anyways, right? 19 out of 20 are gonna say no anyways. So if they don't fit inside of your frame, say, okay, no worries. Sounds good. I'm just gonna go make sure, I'm, it only take me about 30 minutes to get these next two spots filled up at this kind of pricing. So no pressure. I'm just gonna go get it filled up, but you know, call somebody, um, run Home Depot, do something. Okay, bye. Um, if you end it on your note, it changes your confidence as well. You won't be so defeated, you'll feel, you'll feel stronger at the next door. And, and you'll be kind of like, okay, no worries. They're gonna be like, wait, wait, wait. Like, and, you, and you'll be like, okay. And you'll be like, um, it's not really cool on coupon. I just got these last two spots. Um, you know what? Something that will be important too, actually, is those spiders we were talking about, those wolf spiders. What you're gonna wanna do for that, well, I mean, this is actually what we do as well. Uh, you're gonna need to make sure that you, the spiders aren't getting in here. So most products are too slow to take care of a spider running across it. So we actually put out a physical trap that's gonna catch them. It's good for scorpions, snakes, small mice, and everything like that. If you wanna just let me take care of it tomorrow, if you just make sure you pop up in the, the garage when my guy gets here, I'll make sure we take care of the, the spiders in the garage for you, if that works. Hmm. Like, um, close again. Um, what was the house number here? Because you typically buy the garage and the house number is typically there. So you kind of step out and what was the house number here? If they tell you the house number, they're like moving forward. Right. Uh, what was the house number? They're like, oh, well, I, I, I like what, I believe what you're saying. I believe there's a need. I believe this is the service that needs to be done. I like you, but I don't trust you yet. I need some, I need some references. So you say, they're like, well, I really want to think about it. Okay, no pressure. Um, definitely think about it. A couple good companies that you want to do some research on. You know, you can call Adams. They've been around forever. You can call um, ABC. They'll like wash your dishes and do your laundry. They're like a full service. They do everything. Those are good companies I definitely recommend. Uh, a lot of people like us, just because we're not some big Goliath, you're one in about 3,000 compared to one in like a million. And you're not a national, part of a national brand. You're just like local. Being local, what people like about us is that we understand the local issues. The worst local issue with this construction is getting field mice in the attic. What I'm gonna do, with what we do when we come out here, well, and then you show them the reviews too. You're like, they've got good reviews, they've got good reviews, we have the best reviews. The big thing that separates us from them is that. The big thing that separates us is we actually get in the attic. Home team, building the wall, they don't do that. Massey, they don't do that. Romex is good, but they're not, they're one of those bigger companies too. Um, so if you just wanna, you know, I'll get up there, make sure there's no rodents nesting up there, take care of the silverfish. Is the attic access in the, in the inside or is it in the garage? It's in the garage. Okay, cool. Yeah, if you'll pull the car out, we can take care of that. Um, what did you say your, your, your name was again? And then you're doing it. So 
and it does take a little bit longer and you do need to learn to like stand your ground and be comfortable and be kind of pulling away the whole time. But this is what's gonna get you to close the sales. Cause I've been listening to you guys with sales in your hand and you guys are like, like, nope. Yeah. They're like, oh, we're, call me next month. You know, I, it's kind of, I got some financial issues. I can't afford a dollar right now. Like I'm seeing, I'm seeing, a, uh, I saw a tarantula and we killed it. We're getting huge wolf spiders. We hate this. We definitely need it. We want it. But like, um, did I put notes on that and stuff? Did you like I seen it yet. kind of read that? Um, are there really tarantulas in Texas? I think most of them are. The, there are tarantulas spiders. for sure, but yeah. most people think the big wolf spiders are tarantulas. Okay. Like, because that's what I thought too. They're wolf spiders. I think someone said a tarantula to me once, and I was like, oh yeah, okay. Tarantula sounds scarier. Like, yeah. For sure. <laughs> for sure. Like, yeah. Have you seen the tarantulas? With those Texas tarantulas, they're yeah. crazy, dude. Um, cool. So, feedback on this. Like, how is this different? Like. Seems cool and really comprehensive. Um, but just curious, why why didn't we like start out with this instead of like in the basic pitch? Have you, you tried doing this? It's hard. Because <laughs> you guys can't even drink milk when you walk in here. You guys don't know your left foot from your right. Like I don't know. It's yeah. a build up. <laughs> you guys comfortable at the door first, to where you can at least just have a conversation with the customer. Yeah. Let alone now you're taking back what you're trying to do. So if we would have started you off with like taking the sale away, it would have completely annihilated you. Yeah. Because you're you're still fumbling right now with just your basic pitch. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And totally. so to be able to pull this off effectively, you've got to go in there confident and strong. The hums and the ums and the stuff like that, you're gonna really want to be cautious of and, and and try to lower that as much as you can. The, the, the pauses in between what you're saying, the thinking about who you're servicing, the services that we do do, you want to know those inside and out, and you want to be strong and confident, and you're going to stand and pose yourself actually a lot different than you are as well. So you're going to go in there as a, as a professional that knows what they're doing, knows what they're talking about, understands the service, understands the route, and then be prepared to take that sale away from them you know what I mean? Yeah. So rather than them waiting for them to say no, if they're not falling into our time frame, oh, maybe you're not a good fit. I'm going to go find somebody that is. Mm -hmm. And that right there can decimate you if it's day one. Yeah. Does that make sense? Right. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. You guys are doing fantastic. You guys are doing awesome. Yeah. I just, maybe I'm too intense with it. Like most companies, they'll literally teach you the basic script. Have you knocked eight hours a day, try to pull out one, and that's a hundred month summer. You're closing about 25 a month, which is good. But you're grinding eight hours a day, and you're selling one a day. I'm sorry, I want you guys to close five a day. I don't know, maybe I shouldn't. In four hours. Most And most companies want you to sell about 50 to 100, because if it's a sliding commission scale, they want most of people down here at the 50 mark. I don't I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. But yeah. I just, I want you guys to sell a thousand. I do. I love this stuff, and so like, I'm gonna teach you everything I do to be able to close 100 in a month, um, 200 in a month. And then combined with the opportunity we have, like, man, there's so much money. Mike, we tried the commercial stuff, Mike's gonna be cherry picking with us because, you, I mean, you were ready to quit after that first day when we did it like with him too, and you're just in the established stuff, just rustling every single person for three minutes, you know? So I think Mike's gonna be really good at that. Um, okay, it's 11.40. Done. Done. I have an interview with 30 people in 20 minutes. Literally, I have 30 people scheduled in 20 minutes. So Is that how many? 30? I have 30 uh, people scheduled. You want some chairs? It's on a Zoom call. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, so that being said, like, I, I want to give each of you guys a little pad one, and I want you guys to carry him with you and be his mentor and show him the basic stuff. What? <laughs> in a week. Did you say stop being sad? Oh, I thought you told him to stop being sick. Um, cool. So, meeting's over. Time to go. But you guys should role play this.